What ought the Christian's attitude be toward people who have been uh, influenced by false doctrine? Well, uh, we see Jude in his letter in these closing remarks, basically talking about our attitude toward uh, the folks that he's been describing. He says there in verse 22, and of some have compassion, making a difference. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. And so he, he tells us here that, that what this calls for is, is a compassionate heart. We're not to hate people. Uh, we're not to despise people. We're, we are to love people and we're to have compassion on them. And this is what false teaching calls for uh, in the lives of some people. Uh, some people, it calls for a compassionate, understanding, merciful person who can come alongside of them and gently and gradually point them to the Word of God and, and help them out of that false teaching and false understanding that they have and hopefully help them to meet Jesus, uh, the real Jesus, not the phony Jesus that the cults have, have uh, uh, introduced this person to. But he says there that we got to make a difference. Uh, that's the idea of having discernment, to be able to tell who we're dealing with and what the situation calls for. Obviously, this requires prayer. Obviously, this requires uh, the leadership of the Holy Spirit in our life as we gradually and gently deal with people. He goes on to say in verse 23, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. Sometimes it's not a gentle, compassionate thing that's called for. Sometimes it's a three alarm, alarm fire that we come rushing in, grab them and pull them out of that fire. And the Holy Spirit will give us the, the leadership to be able to tell the difference. Please notice the language that Jude uses here. This is life and death. This is not just some philosophy of life that someone adopts. We're talking about the difference between believing on Jesus and having eternal life and believing a lie and literally headed for the fires of hell. And that's the way that Jude presents that. He goes on and he uses another very strong word. These are, these are strong words, compassion, uh, making a difference to have discernment, uh, pulling them out of the fire, he says, and then finally, he says, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now, hatred is a, a big word, and we obviously should never hate people. And we don't hate these people that have been blinded by false teaching. No way. We love them. But we do hate the false teaching, and we hate what it produces. He, he says there, the hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now, he's already talked about spots in this letter. In verse 12, he said, these are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. So the idea of a spotted garment, we see in some other places in Scripture. One of the places is in Revelation uh Chapter 3 and verse 4, Jesus says there, Thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Uh, the notion of a garment that is not spotted or wrinkled, uh, a garment that is, is pure and clean and white, uh, is used to describe the uh, bride of Christ. And it's used to describe the person who's invited to the wedding feast and puts on the, the, the garment provided by the wedding host. And so what he's saying is, is he's saying this false teaching is something that you've got to be very, very careful of. Uh, if you bring this in, it's going to defile or it can. And so we hate that garment, that, that outer covering, that teaching, that, that doctrine um, that's what we despise. That's what we hate. We don't hate the people. We love the people. They have been lied to. And so this helps us as we deal with people that we meet and that we know that are caught up in false teaching. Pray for the Holy Spirit to give you discernment to be able to point them to Jesus in truth, having compassion on some and others, snatching them out of the fire. God bless you. Have a great day.